Mr. Ruddle, he's going to say, like, welcoming. Put some food on the table and say, they're fancy. It's great to feel happy because they're one better to feel away and one more birthday is that number. From losing even the crappy job that keeps the red page most trust. This is happening while most of the well off are getting richer and more powerful. Senator Sanders has done more than anyone in America to put the issue of inequality at the center of the debate in American politics. And truthfully, as a guy from Chicago, I appreciate the way that he's been speaking truth to power and going after the influence of big money. We in this room are immigrants and the children of immigrants, people who came to America like many generations before us to build a better life for our family. And we come from communities and neighborhoods where you have a better chance of being pulled over by racial profile and finding a good job with benefits. For dirty air it gives our kids ass to break rules, strip our communities of wealth. As immigrants, we live firsthand the inequality that Senator Sanders is talking about. And as a movement, as community organizers, we know Bernie is right when he, when he says it's going to take organized people to be organized money. And so, my brothers and sisters, please join me today in welcoming Senator Bernie Sanders to the stage. We are living in a world that like today very much has a rigged economy of you for being here. And today. that means that millions of people are watching us, and African Americans and Asian Americans and whites, are working for all the hours for low wages six months ago. Almost all of the new wealth and income is going to the top 1% people through who I was. What this campaign is about is ending the disgrace that we have a most unequal distribution of wealth and income where the top one tenth of one percent owns almost as much wealth as the bottom ninety percent. If the economy is about creating, this campaign is about creating an economy that works for working families, not just and the only way, the only way of a good advocate is when we come together. It's when Latinos, African Americans, whites come together trying to create a political movement that says that our people should work as long as for not just the other long time. I do want to you about another issue. Not only is it is a lot of more than that. our campaign finance system is corrupt. We are living in a country today corrupt, which has as a result of citizens united. And that means the establishment of super PAC is the only democratic way for President Asia does not have a super PAC or does not want a super PAC for low wages. Because I don't want to be most poor of America or in the U.S. because I don't want to be the what this campaign is about is ending the disgrace that we have the most unequal distribution of wealth and more individual contributions. Where the top one of the 750,000 owns almost as much money as the bottom of the United States of America at this point. This economy is about creating. This campaign is about creating an economy. That works for working families, not just for billionaires. Works. That's how it works. The only way we can correct, the only way we can of all of the people we is when we come together. Of the work that they is when Latinos, African Americans, and whites come together briefly to create a political movement that says that our government needs work for all of us. Not just the people in America. And, America. and then we've got another issue. Not only is the economy rigged, our, our campaign finance our campaign system, system not is respect. corrupt. Our people like Donald Trump, as a result of Citizens United appealing 
to racism and the establishment of a super PAC to win the polls. That is unacceptable. For President, who does not have a super PAC, does not want a super PAC. We will have a party to the Florida as a nation, or from the billionaires. And we have a strong adult too much as a gender. I want them to overcome racism. To allow candidates for President of the United States to have a party. Mexico. Is that at this point in the campaign, we will see more individual contributions and more than 750,000 to than any candidate in the history of the United States of America at this point in the campaign. Now, in terms of the country, it's not a grassroots movement trying to bring people in the great reform. Obviously, the government works uh, in those without the same pain. It's about Let me uh, say that the country would need an encouragement of racial integration, integration reform. All of the people of the Senate, as you know, from years ago passed the legislation that I read legislation was so uh, it was a step forward. Very briefly, unfortunately, my colleagues in the House of Immigration prefer the demagogues on the issue of immigration, immigration status in America rather than a vast series of immigration and refresh so forth. First and the most important person. Our goal has got to be to rally the American to understand people who are not comprehensive immigration reform, who are appealing to racism and xenophobia to win the million people today who are saying in the shadows and moving for a path for citizenship. We have the President of the United States to rally the American too much as a body. House of Senate, racism, strongest, comprehensive, allowing immigration to the president of the United States, talks about the people from the degree that Congress is unable to act. Not acceptable to me, and we, the president of the United States, has got to use the power of the Congress. And that means that I will expand. In terms of President Obama's deferred action of childhood arrivals, his candidate in terms of immigration, provide obviously administrative relief goes to the parents of citizens, the parents of legal permanent residents, the parish of dreamers, other families, and the rest of the immigration population. That would have been a step forward if the House, fortunately, and my colleagues in the House there, John Furman, Demagogue, on the issue of immigration. Rather than a vast series of immigration. The role of the immigrants, potential, the potential machine, the American people, and the expansion of the state of the organization has perpetuated one unjust for policy, legal, and resulted in the separation of 11 million people today, thousands in the shadows, and moving toward the bottom line for me. So I think, frankly, for most of us, I will do my best as President of the United States to rally the Americans to bring so the family together house and Senate not have to separate them. all this comprehensive immigration reform process. So the last time I heard the agreement that Congress, Congress is unable to put the separation is going to be that the President of the United States has got his life on the line to serve our country in the leaders. And while he was in the military, I will expand his wife, President Obama's deferred action for childhood arrivals, the Dynamo Program, to provide broad, I told administrative relief to the parents in Phoenix citizens, Arizona, the parents of legal family residents, scale parents of dream parents, other family members, and the rest of the immigrant population that would have been changed. I don't know if this was a nice family, they did not dare to devolve. Further, I will direct the immigration offices of the immigrant detention initiating mortation machine against the expansion of border militarization as perpetuating unjust policies and so it includes separation, dismantling of thousands, deportation programs, and prior online detention, sending fighters to most Americans. I can say the world is bringing families together a month ago, not into the separation, which takes all the companies out of it. And then the last time I heard in my screen, I hope you should not put him 
life on the line to serve our country, Australia people. And while he was in the military, in my view, his wife criminalizing an undocumented parents for reentering the country after being separated from his, his or her child. In Phoenix, not having a driver's license. That have my forged document that should, should not be an excuse for you. Every day, I a way to carry that with them. That is our train. Our job is to unite families, not further. I will direct my administration to explain the danger and the silence. The buildings I have the violence and other community violence coming from national and elsewhere against a low state of of people with fleeing persecution. This is the part of moral to the history of the group, dismantling in names, deportation programs, and private detention in the system. system. And it is the case of so many other things they discriminate against no divinity. Several and months ago, I introduced legislation in our office to take the entire families out of what is our current immigration policy in so many cases, and treats them as we are dependent. Dr. Jones, how can we make sure not be making progress? We need our property and the property of the family. The bottom line is that we cannot further in my view. Criminalizing million dollars of men, men parents, women, and children for re-entering the country after being separated and from his or her child. That is not, not having that may be a value or having a right to document should that not be not an excuse to deny a pathway to America has always been <laughs> the right family of the New York. Further, I will we cannot in the administration extend the historical and the United States. States. The victims have the best of violence, people, and unfortunately, minors are succumbing from Latin America and elsewhere as a distinct group of people in Brazil. This is a job that is more than a new end of our lives to go to. Maybe the most important the current immigration yeah, system, these and laws, the case of so many other areas, and discriminates against our country. And that has established with politics, our establishment with breadwinners of families, not going but our current immigration policies, if in too many cases, to transfer them if we are dependent. If we are going that to understand that this like country, country today is the most country in the history of the world. Bottom line, and that if we stand we together as Latin and Muslim, as Hindus, as African Americans, as men, whites, women, and as children. Asian Americans, that when we, we stand together, together no so matter how much money out, and how much power, power that the billionaire class has, that when we stand together, there is nothing that we cannot accomplish. We create the highest value
access is not only school and immigration reform, it means health care to all people as a right. It means raising the minimum wage to a living wage 15 bucks an hour. It means making public colleges and universities tuition free and paying for that through a tax on Wall Street speculation. Thank you very much uh, for hearing me out, and uh, let's go forward together. Thank you.